How's things been since we last spoke? All right, keeping keeping well. Good. We'll get straight into it. We'll get straight into some cards today. Straight into playing some card games. Good morning, Ace King Hearts. All of it, lumps of it. Send it in, mate. That's a classic race. I'm victorious in my race today. And we're all in in this one and I'm with the Jacks. And that is a big dub as well, isn't it? In the 109 kickoff. We go again here with Ace Jack Sid. 13 big blind regem. Looking great. Nice. It's called a lack of professionalism, okay? Get with the program. I'm going to raise pocket nines in the 109 kickoff, which is incorrectly labeled. Whoa! Sure. Thank you. Any vlog content? From me? From the WSOP? No. Uh, this is maybe the worst river on since records began. It's got to be up there, isn't it? I'm going to have to fold and show, like an ego fold and show. I not believe it. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Laying down a set. Laying down a set. Called, called the flop with the Ace King. Called the turn with the Ace King. Look at this. It's unbelievable. Ripping all in over here. Sure. What we got? What's going on? What do we think? Are we having a, are we having a call here in the kickoff? Apparently not. We're all in in the kickoff with a flip. It's a five. And it's another five. Fox is a good hand, isn't it? Imagine getting raised. I guess we don't even have to imagine. We just lose to six three now, or six deuce more likely. Check. Lose to six deuce or check and beat something. Can we beat anything? Do we have showdown value? Do we get here with any worse hands? Maybe we don't get in here with any worse hands. Maybe I have the jam. 36 of 66, 48 paid. 13 blinds. I guess we will still. Got an ace in my hand. Seems too good. Oh no, it's falling apart. It's falling apart, mate. Add a big stack. We've bluffed one off against uh, Sergey, and then we've just lost the all in here against Femo, Fimo, Fimo. Now it is I who's short with nine blinds. I'll be all in blind versus blind. That's what I'll be. Surely not three in a row. Surely we double. Nice. What do you, what do you guys make of this on the bubble? Four from the money. Am I in trouble? Dun, 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 dun. Uh oh. I was hoping they would fold, but they did not. I've also just been eliminated from the $27 Sunday Eliminator. GG. I give up. Hallelujah. We made it. We made it. Boom. In the money in the kickoff. Now we just have to spin up our four and a half big lines. Hope you guys have all had a nice week. I haven't seen you. I haven't spoken to you. I've missed you. But don't worry. I'm back now streaming this Sunday. And of course. I'll never be leaving you ever again. They worked me. They worked me. We're looking for our spin up over here in the 109. That's a good start for it. Nice. I think we are off to a flop now with our new our newfound stack. Now we have opportunities to chat raise and give it away and things like this. Winner, winner against Ace Eight. We opened Ace Two in the kickoff. Gonna be some leads on the Three Six Five every day of the week, every day of the year. Probably how we call again with the the gut shot on the Ace I. Ace of Hearts does open up some opportunities for us as well, I guess. I'd imagine they're betting range at the river. It's pretty good for them, right? They just a lot of their bluffs are around this Four X or the Seven X. They are gonna make some straights. I don't know if I want to try and bluff someone off a straight. 
Maybe they blocked some two pairs. Am I just going to jam here? I think I like a jam here. I think I like a jam with this card. It's not only straights. So obviously, there's going to be... So even a hand like 7-8 is probably going to block river and go thin. I think I like a jam. Old. This is all right, isn't it? Try and keep the lights on somehow. Well, 17 left. It looks pretty good to me. I have the hand that I have. Gonna see a lot of shoving from the button i think we're gonna call versus the jams i think we just do too well against the open rip indeed we do club me over my big though. stupid head really bad actually we do win we do hold it was scary stuff club me over my big stupid head we also have the nuts in the kickoff not the nuts we have a straight though huge pot wow 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 what a spin up here we've had. Blind versus blind in the 109 kickoff with 7.5k up top. And we've been faced with a raise at 16 blinds deep. Do we make this like 5 blinds or do we go all in or do we call in position? Let's try this. I think is good. With some hands. Mostly aces, kings and some bluffs probably. Sure. Final table bubble here. We do cover. 4-7 suited. Probably a defend. Sure. Sure. Pot. Harry Potter. Sydney Poitier. Um, I'm not sure about potting on this board with so many straight draws. I mean, there's a flush draw. Maybe we get some pot. Maybe they don't get many overbets. Seems like it's two tournaments, not so many overbets. Um, I guess 7-4 is pretty average now in terms of where the rest of my range is. I'd have to call like 7-8-7-9 again. Call some diamonds again, but 7-4 maybe we just fold now. The way we continue on the turn is obviously going to be very impacted by the narrowing of our range since our opponent bet pot and flop. Um, so actually we don't really have like the bottom pairs and the second pairs to fold on the turn. So we need to fold some top pairs. Um, what we need to do here is three bet and get it in, isn't it? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Sexy Gandalf. Thank you for the three months. Up the Spragwa. Thank you. Thank you. Final table bubble. We get cold four bet here though. I mean, bruv, come on. Blind v blind in this dynamic? I don't think I'm folding this hand. Nice. What a pot. What a pot. Great news, everybody. This is your final table. We have made the final table of the 109 Sunday kickoff. Yes, we understand it to be the final table. Thank you very much. And Ace King on the final table. This is what we're playing for. A reminder, this is a regular tournament. There are no bounties in play. We are merely playing for where we finish in the tournament. It's, a, it's a, an old classic. An old classic. What do you reckon this hand is worth? What do you reckon this hand is worth versus chip leader with these stacks when they three bet big blind versus iron of the gun? Do you reckon it's worth nothing? Do you reckon it's worth less than nothing? I wonder if we're ever supposed to fold. We're so the last thing we'll be doing here is jamming, I think. I wonder if we're ever supposed to just fold. Huh. Maybe. Maybe. I will check. I will make the nuts. This is a really, 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 really great situation for us to be in. Because the big blind has a good uh, disadvantage of 6x hands. They have chosen to exercise the overbet. 
option. And I have the nuts. And I get to the river with the nuts. It's good having the best possible combination of cards here on the final table. Isn't it? Oh, well, I'll say. And winner, winner. 1.5 million. That was a good hand, eh? That was a jolly good hand, I'd say. And it's a queen and a jack versus ace king. Queen jack will take it with a boat. We are down to seven players, folks. Enkley says, Yo, Sprags, are you a better player than Tonka? Uh, at tournament poker? No. Parker's a very, very, very good tournament poker player. Been fortunate enough to learn a lot from him over the years. God, that's painful to say in, in, in sincerity, isn't it? God, it's painful to say in sincerity. Run, run, Jim. Thank you very much. 33 months. I've been repping my Spraggy merch in the sun today. Good luck. To, good luck tonight, mate. Thank you very much. Uh, UK's most hated. See, like now I feel way like better about just fucking ripping it. And, uh, you know, this person just having to fold a lot when we cover, you know, that's how I feel about this. This is like a way better spot for me. Obviously, if we get called, we're fucked, right? But we can deny so much. And over here we say, do I want a piece of this? Do you want a piece of me? I think so. I think I'm opening wide. They're going to jam wide enough. 10 bigs with an ace and a queen. Pipped by one. <gasps> Could it be? And the spade? I am blessed, eh? I am blessed. With one of six button jams, we've got ace king suited in the big blind. Against Jack 9 oh. Nine on the river. It's very sad. And we're down to four. We lost Soph Adams here, who had a very rough final table. Lost an all-in, and now reshoved sixes into aces, five-handed. And here we are with four left. I think it's nice to keep some dominated hands in here for the 11 bigs. Not really that exciting to jam, is it? We want all three streets here, don't we? Four is definitely not a total brick. I think the whole point of us checking Queen Jack is so we keep some weaker Jack X, like Jack 6, Jack 5, Jack 7, obviously, because it's Jack 8, Jack 9, Jack 10 in the limp. So I think we do want to go for value. Bear 4X might have a hard time calling turn. Things like 4, 5, 4, 6 will call again, but I think we go for it all here with Queen Jack. They don't want it. We will open here with the eight and the queen. A double gut shy. I wonder if there's any checking here. Just bet again. Let's bet again. Definitely pressure a lot of 10x here. This is... This is the... Oh, this is like the detriment to, to barreling a hand that has the double gut shot right they're gonna play some check jams on this turn and we're not in a position to call off should we just wheel this in big flip isn't it nice we are calling We are holding too many heights for Grinder. That puts us heads up. Heads up in the 109 kickoff, $109 to at least $5,755. We'll now play heads up for, what, 1.8k? Nice. Pretty good for a 109. Pretty good for the 109 here. Uh, I'm not sure about the instance to it. I'd imagine if that player is calling it, it's going to be f pretty good. You have to think that my 30 big blind rip is very different to my 3 bet call, right? My 30 BB rip is quite defined as like weaker ace x in this. Like maybe I induce ace queen ace king. You know, maybe I rejam like jack 10 suited and then a bunch of pairs. Uh, can we go three streets with this? I think maybe. I don't know against this guy. Maybe we show down and see what's going on. Maybe we just take a showdown. 
close spot. Not an inconsequential river either. Decent flop for us here. Decent. Obviously one of our nicer queens to call with. Got some good turns. Got some bad ones. I don't think the... Uh, I don't think the... Uh, whatever this is. What is this? An ace is like a huge concern. They go for quite... 70%. Quite big. Not huge. Um, I'm calling again with a queen that can improve. And obviously with a queen. Very easy... Uh, Easily barrelable. Barrelable. Is that a word? Barrelable spot here. Check, check. Muck. Opponent has queen jack. Ooh. Nice bet on the turn. I'm lucky, I suppose. King is a good hand. I think we want to ISO big versus these limps in general. Sure you won't begrudge me. What an intriguing choice. Definitely quite uh, thin value bets we've seen from Bolin Hacks. Wouldn't be surprised if they're value betting pretty much any pair on the turn. Uh... Feels like a very 9x dense situation we're dealing with here. Feels like a lot of king 9, ace 9. Um, maybe they just have a decent amount of bare 10x, bare 8x. Try and fold out some ace highs. I probably call turn with you know some flush draws. Maybe some queens, but some of my queen 10, king queen bet flop. You know, queen 8 bet flop. So maybe I want to call here. Probably bet some 9s on the flop too. So this is like... Probably a hand I just want to call with and see what's up. Indeed. Hello there, King Deuce. Hello. I think the I think the value portion of the range for this sizing is a, a bunch of 9x, but obviously going to be enough bluffs in there, I would hope. And I don't have that many better hands. If all this, all the kings are betting, it's a lot more miserable. Thank you, Christian, for 21 months. How are you, mate? I don't want to alarm you, but I didn't get your go live notification. I did, however, get Tonka Peace. Have some words with Twitch. Unbelievable, isn't it? Unbelievable. I bet he's paying him off or something. Something nefarious. Um, sure. Off to the river we go. And what the hell is that? A winning hand, that's what it is. Uh, calling a three bet in the heads up. Whoa, top two, three bet pot with fewer than two pots remaining. I'm all in if they jam the turn. And it's game over and just like that. Position one of 418, prize $7,562.50. No chops, just an outright first place victory. You love to see it right here on a Sunday, right here on Spraggy TV, right here on PokerStars.com, everybody.